Welcome to Web Design with Microsoft Expression Web 4. So, in this one, we're going to use uh, Microsoft Expression Web 4 because it's free. There are other editors out there that which you have to pay for, but this one is free. And this will suit um, PC users. If you're a Mac user, you could, you've got your choice of all these other ones. I would suggest, suggest uh, Komodo edit okay so um, download Komodo edit and you can download it from the Komodo uh, or active state website um, PC users just go just type in Microsoft expression web 4 into your search bar you'll come to this website and simply click download okay it's a pretty, pretty quick download install it if you have trouble installing just let me know and I'll help you out so we'll assume that that has installed and if you're a Mac user that you've downloaded and installed Komodo and we will now launch that software. So just type in Microsoft Expression Web 4 should come up and it will load up and in this first tutorial we're just going to make up a very simple single page website or just a single web page. Um, so what you need to do first is to make up a little folder on your USB or on your computer um, and just call it my first website. So everything that is to do with your website is going to go into that folder and it never leaves that folder. That's the golden rule of web design. Everything stays in that one folder. So in this folder I'm going to put my web pages and I'm going to put a few images of dogs because it's going to be a dog breeds web page. So I've got a bulldog, a mini foxy and a shih tzu and I've actually already saved an index page in there and I'll show you how to do that. So um, to get those images all I did was go to the web and um, do a, a search say for bulldog. There and images and just select one of those one that I selected was that one click on it and right click save image and make sure you save it to your folder okay so this comes down as aussie-bulldog-thumb always save your image as a single word and no capital so I've saved that image but I've renamed it just to Bulldog. So I want you to pick three breeds like that and save them into your My First Website folder. So I've got my three breeds there. Single word. This one's got a hyphen, that's okay. You could just take the hyphen out and save it to that folder. Okay, back to Microsoft Expression Web. So it looks very complicated. I'm going to try to explain it as simply as I can. Um, so the name of my um, web page will just be called Dog Breeds. So I'm just going to type that in. And I need to make that a, a large heading size so it stands out. So I'm just going to pause for a sec. And to make that large, just mouse over it. And up here you'll see a thing called Paragraph. And that gives you the the font size of your headings. So just go down to heading 1 is the largest, heading 2 goes into heading 6. There are other ways of getting larger or smaller uh, font sizes, but we don't need to do that in this course. So heading 1, nice big font. And then I'm just going to type in Bulldog. And I'll make that heading 3. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy and paste some uh, words from the web. So I've just done a search for uh, Bulldogs Wiki in my search bar. And I'm going to go to the Wikipedia site. And I'm just going to copy and paste a little bit of uh, text from the Wikipedia page. Just this first part here. Copy and paste. 
put it into there. Let's come out a little bit oddly. And let's see if we can make that the right font size. I need to stretch that down a little bit. Okay, it's come out a little bit odd. I'm just going to pause that and fix that up. Okay, I have found a way to take the formatting out of that. It's a little bit complicated, so um, I will cover that in a future uh, tutorial. But for now, just maybe type in manually um, that first line will be will be fine, um, and uh, to avoid that formatting problem. So we want to put in an image now, but what we're going to do first of all is save our work. So at the moment it's called untitled underscore one dot html. We want to save that as index dot html. Just go file, save as, and just type in here index dot html. And then I'm going to go to my folder. I'm saving my work. And index and it'll say that I've already got one in there I'll just say yes I'll replace it and that's saved so the first page of any website we always save it as index.html no matter what it is so it's all lowercase no spaces um, no capital I for index that's always the first web page is the web crawlers on the web when they're looking to index pages uh, new websites they look for that one page if they can't find it well your website won't be found. Okay, I'm just going to add a an image. So I've already saved my bulldog image. It's pretty big, but I'm just going to resize it if it's too big. I'm just going to go insert uh, picture from file, and again go to my folder. Bulldog. I don't need any of these alternate text or long description. Just click OK. And as you can see, it's it's pretty big. So it's going to probably be too big for a web page. And in the next um, video, I'll show you how to resize that. A couple of ways to resize it so it looks proportional to the rest of the web page. But for the time being, that's going to do. So I can either go File, Save, or you can see this shortcut here is Control S. So I prefer to do that. So just go to your keyboard and just go Control S, and that will save. How do I know that's been saved? Well, there's a little asterisk up here, um, which said things haven't been saved. As soon as you press Control S, that will disappear, and now it's been saved. So I'm going to just see what that looks like on the web. So to do that, I can uh, go into I uh, can go into just a moment. So to preview it in the browser, I just go to File, uh, Preview and Browser, and there'll be a number of options here. So yours might have Internet Explorer as the first one, but once you select Chrome, which I recommend um, selecting Chrome, it's use a better browser to view web pages. Just click on that, and it'll come up in the browser, and that's how your web page is looking so far. As we can see, the, the dog is a little bit big, but we can fix it up pretty quickly. So it's got my heading, it's got a little bit of text, and an image. Okay, and it's also got up here a title, which says dog breed, which is really what I want. So if you can do that in this first lesson, get a web page showing that's showing your heading, a little bit of text, and an image that you want, that will be good enough for this first lesson.